Hey everyone, I'm out here at my uh, neighborhood park and what I want to talk to you about today is how to up your Euronymphing game and uh, it's something super, super important and that's the way we manage our line. And what I mean by that is when we make a cast, our bugs hit and the current starts taking them downstream and what's created is slack in our line and we have to take up that slack and manage it so we stay in control and in contact with our bugs super super important how we do that and I'm gonna show you what I typically see out on the stream and I'm gonna help you correct that so the way I typically see it is um, it's typically the one-arm fisherman as I say uh, you know this hand doesn't really do anything it kinda sits idly on the hip and you just kinda make a lazy cast out the bugs hit and you start lifting the rod up or you start moving it like that to take up that slack to get tight to your cider, right? I see that, I also see this, and then I see a fast strip like that, and then the cider gets all wobbly, and so anytime you're stripping fast or anytime you're moving your rod tip, you're moving your cider. When you're moving your cider, you're moving your flies. It's unnatural, um, you're keeping your bugs from getting into the strike zone, or you're pulling them out of the strike zone. So. We want to fix that for you. You need to learn to use your non-rod hand. This hand is for casting, this hand is for managing your slack, and both are equally as important. So it goes something like this. So we're gonna make that cast, and the moment the bugs hit the water, we're managing slack right away with a steady rod tip. The reason this is so vitally important is we have gotta keep a steady rod tip, we've gotta be in control, and in contact with our bugs and cider right from the get-go. We don't want the drift to control us. We want to control the drift. Super, super important. What I mean by the drift controlling us is if we make that cast out and we start playing catch up to that cider, that means the drift is controlling us. We control it when that bugs hit and we are tight to our cider right away and we're fishing the moment the bugs hit the water. You can manage slack in one of three ways. I'll face the camera here. So you can manage slack by smoothly stripping it in. You can manage slack by a figure eight or typically in faster water, you can make that cast and you can just slowly strip it like that in one big long strip. Now, what's important is when we cast, we need to make sure that this hand is moving in tandem with the rod, very close. You can see how close it is to the rod handle. So when we cast, we transition over to whatever finger here. I like to use my middle finger on my rod handle, but you can see they're moving in tandem. We're not casting like this, right? Because when the bugs hit, we gotta make this big transition over and there's too much movement. So just learn to cast, hands moving in tandem, bugs hit, and you transition over and you make you start managing line right away. You gotta learn to do it smooth and with practice and time on the water you will, but I actually start moving the line over while the bugs are in the air. So when it hits, I'm already managing my slack. So one thing you wanna do is when you make that cast, what's really important is when that rod stops, you're in a fishing position right away. So once again, the rod stops, the rod is in a fishing position, and I'm managing slack, fishing right away. None of this stuff. I see this. I see the big stiff arm, as I call it. I don't know about you, but I can't fish eight hours. I can't fish an hour like this. I mean, certainly you can stiff arm to get over currents, but your arm has to be in a comfortable fishing position so you can be out there all day. There's no need to do this stiff arm thing. I see that a lot. So make that cast. The rod stops in a fishing position, your arm's in a comfortable, it's in front of you and in a comfortable position, and you're managing slack right away. So another thing that's really important is we want to, we want to manage our slack to the rod, not with the rod. Just remember that. And what I mean by that is you make the cast, we're managing the slack, we're managing it to the rod once we have the slack in, then we're steadily moving the rod downstream with the current and the rod is steady. When you have a steady rod tip, you have a steady cider. And when you have a steady cider, you can see everything and you can feel everything and you're in perfect contact with the flies beneath. 
So learn to use that non-rod hand. Keep that rod tip steady. And when you do that, your sensitivity just shoots through the roof. You're gonna see, you're gonna feel everything, and I'm sure you're gonna see more success out on the water. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm happy to help out. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And as always, tight lines, everybody. I'll talk to you later.